So today I'm gonna to be looking at how to do object detection with a video. Now a previous video I did looked at how to do this with a still image and the process for doing this with a video is pretty much the same thing. Instead of just grabbing a single image, we're just gonna grab frames from a video and then use those frames to apply to the model and then it will give us the bounding boxes that we can draw over the top of the video. And we'll be able to do this in real time because the detection of objects with the models that we're gonna be using is pretty fast. So you don't have to have a really fast computer to do this. You just need something that will be able to process a video and also run the model at the same time. So something modest, it will still work, but it works better if you have more CPU. But in any case, let's just go right over to the demo, look at it, and then we'll look at the code. So this is going to start showing me here in a second. There I am. And now it's showing me a live video feed up here on the top. That's a video element in uh, my browser. And this down here is just a still image where I'm grabbing frames from the video and then redisplaying them down here with a bounding box around the object, which in this case is showing a person with a confidence score. And these are just the dimensions of the bounding box. See if I can add another object to this, like maybe a coffee cup or something. And it's able to detect a cup and a person right here. So I can have multiple objects in my frame and it's still able to detect it. And it's not really ramping up my computer's CPU quite a bit, but this is real-time object detection, which might be useful for some kind of applications that you might want to have on a desktop. So let's go look at the code of how this works. It's very similar to what we did with the still image, but in this case, we're just grabbing, like I said, single frames and processing those and then displaying the results in real time. So this is a very basic example here. Nothing really fancy going on, but I just want to walk through the code real quickly. I'm using tensorflow.js with the same model I used for object detection in my original demo, which I just did on a still image. This one is using classification and object detection, but in the camera video, I'm just doing object detection. So I'm just gonna load that model and tensorflow.js. And then it really starts down here in this uh, kind of main method, uh, as I called it. And this one just basically takes about all the helper methods and calls them to wire everything up. And this is just getting a canvas context to display the grabbed frame with the bounding boxes around it. This just sets the canvas context. This sets up the webcam using the browser's webcam API. And then this loads the model. And then this right here will then start the loop uh, for the object detection. And the real magic all happens in that detect frame. It's basically just looking for a frame. Um, when that has enough data, it will then grab the canvas uh, and then draw the image on the canvas. And then from there, it will then call the model to do a, a, a classification on that to get the object detection and it then displays the results. That's where it displays the caption, where it displays the object class, the bounding box and the probability score. And this just draws the boxes on the canvas as well. The red boxes around the object that it detected. And then once that's all done, it just restarts the process all over again. So you end up with a real-time object detection based on a video feed. So this has got some use cases for sure. I think in many different kinds of applications, object detection is one thing I use kind of on a pretty much constantly because I have uh, IP cameras in my house and I like to use AI based object detection to let me know when somebody comes to my doorbell or whenever Amazon drops a package or whatever it might be. And so we just use some AI and it detects it and then sends me a, an email, really a notification. It's, hey, somebody's at your door. Somebody's uh, dropping something off or something like that. I do it on people and vehicles because that's what I'm most interested in. In any case, uh, stuff like that would definitely be useful for this kind of thing or other other applications is you could certainly train your own models and use them in the same context as well. So this particular video looked at object detection in a video. We're going to look at another video that's going to be working with cameras as well. And it's going to be able to do facial recognition or facial feature recognition. And there's some cool things you can do with that as well. So look forward to that video. And as always, I'll put the code uh, in a repo and I'll link that in the video description down below. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on a future video. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. You can also like this content by clicking on the thumbs up or share this content with your friends and also comment in the comment section down below. You can also find me online at www.blaze.net or on Twitter at the one mule. And as always, thanks for watching.